Hey friends and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Melanique and I do all things decorating, lifestyle, homemaking, working mom, all the good stuff. So glad you are here today. Today we have a very special video for you. It is my Christmas marathon. In this video, I have compiled all of the Christmas content I had from last year as we get ready for this year. I have watched so many videos and they are so cool with the Christmas marathons and so I was like, um, girl, let me go ahead and give the people a Christmas marathon video. I am so excited about the upcoming Christmas season. In this video, you're going to find decorating, cleaning, I have even thrown in the video of our famous Christmas boxes and our Christmas morning last year, guys. I have a whole lot of new holiday content coming your way, but in the meantime, go ahead and enjoy this video. It is a whopping three hours long, y'all, decorating my whole house, making Christmas boxes, Christmas Eve, our Christmas morning, my hot cocoa bar. So pop some popcorn or go ahead and pull out your Christmas decorations and let's get ready for this holiday season. I hope you enjoy and do not forget to click like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Hey friends and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be decorating our Christmas tree and I'm going to share with you a few last minute decor pieces that I picked up for Christmas. If you want to get straight to business and see the tree decorating, I will link that timestamp in the comments below. If this is your first time visiting, thank you guys so much for being here. To all of my loyal subscribers, thank you guys for being here for another week. We are so excited about the Christmas season and today we're going to just have some fun and get our tree decorated. Go ahead and like this video and subscribe and click that notification bell so that you won't miss any of the fun. Let's do it. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Or the windows in the rain is pouring It will always be Christmas in Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better On a blanket with the skyline painted in blue Ooh, yeah, that's what we do We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Santa's gonna come and join us in this song oh, yeah.
Let's go outside. The snow is falling down, and every child is having so much fun. A snowman is twice the size as me, with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform, and all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas a moment we'll fill with love and joy. Mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. I don't need any presents as long as I spend this day with you. So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. Ooh, I'm making plans for what we're gonna do. I feel so blessed that I can be with you. Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya. I just wanna hold you close. You know the stars are shining just for you. Let's take a walk and we can follow the moonlight till we reach a place we can stay. Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you Both the kids wanted to be the one to put the star on. Dylan was just not tall enough. I let Layla try it, but she was not tall enough either. And once we got it up there, we realized it did not work. We should have tested it before, but the lights did not work on the tree. So Terrell tried to change out the bulbs and a couple of fuses, and that didn't work either. Moment will fill with love and joy. We got the star to working by just taking that little string of lights out and putting another string in. So much easier than that trying to change out bulbs and fuses. But yeah, but it turned out beautiful. And here is our tree in all her glory. And I'm in love with it. I'm so glad we have a flocked tree this year. I think it's very beautiful and I think it's classy. We went with gold, green, and red on this tree. Very traditional and we think it's beautiful. Very excited about it. Here's a whole look and I'm just gonna kind of show you give you just a tip that I, I do. Um, this is a skinnier tree. And so I just took some of my larger pine cone decorations and stuck them inside as fillers. Also another tip that I wanted to share with you. Let me see if I can see one. If you can see how I place ornaments on the inside of the tree, it helps to make your tree look more full. And so we did that in several places. And my sweet baby kind of put some ornaments really close together. So we'll have to um, kind of reposition some of them. But yeah, you can see we hang them inside of the tree and not just hang all of them outside of the tree because it helps fill some of those empty spots sometimes and here's another place where we kind of just put ornaments on the inside but I'll just kind of give you a close-up the lighting is much better on this side but she's so pretty 
and this has definitely put us in the spirit we decorated by singing Christmas songs and just hanging out as a family and so this just ushers in everything for us It's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me and my family as we had so much fun decorating our Christmas tree and ushering in officially the holiday season. If this is your first time joining us, thank you so much for watching today. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Consider joining our little YouTube family to all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so much for coming back again and hit that notification bell because you do not want to miss all of the Christmas fun that we have coming up. Next, we're going to be decorating our living spaces and we could not be more excited. So come on along with us as we enjoy the holiday season. I will see you guys very, very soon. Hey friends and welcome back to another video so glad you've joined me today we are going to be cleaning and decorating our living room space for Christmas so join me as I tidy up and make everything beautiful and festive for this holiday season Guys, it is finally time to decorate the house. I am super pumped. Um, we have decorated the Christmas tree, so by now you've already seen us unboxing and decorating the tree. This has to be a multi-day process for me uh, because of my work schedule and just my ability to get around. So, so so today we're going to work on decorating our family room, living room, den, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to start by picking up um, some of the remnants of us decorating the tree and some random decor I probably showed you in another video. We're going to pick that up and then we're going to get started. I have not really planned out how I want everything to go. I don't have a layout, so you'll have to just do that with me. We're going to have so much fun and I can't wait to deck this place out. I've removed all of our fall decor and your girl is ready. I have on my Christmas shirt and y'all, I've, you know, I've been getting hot doing these videos with all this hair on my neck. So you get ponytail action today because we're getting ready to go to work. If this is your first time visiting, thank you so much for being here. If you love this kind of content and you are interested, please like this video and subscribe and consider joining our family. To my loyal subscribers, thank you for coming back yet again and let's do this. I'm going to start by clearing out some of the extra decor and some of the things we have lying around before I can begin to decorate. A few people asked about the boot on my foot. I am having some inflammation issues with my foot, but that is not stopping your girl from getting everything ready for Christmas. I just have to go a little slower.
weeks if you have started decorating for Christmas. By the time you're seeing this video, our whole house is ready and we are enjoying the Christmas lights and the fireplace and we just like to enjoy the decorations and the feel of the holiday as long as we possibly can so let me know if you're ready have you pulled anything out or is it just too early for you Bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. They said, Say, Nick, but you got a bit in that bag, yeah. I got a racks, racks in my sack, or in my back, yeah. They said, Say, Nick, but you got a bit in that bag, yeah. I got a racks, racks in my sack, or in my back, yeah. I'm frozen. Neck is frozen, catch me rolling. I'm the chosen. Snow is falling. Elfie's calling. Check my list. So I had to make sure that I moved the Christmas tree so that we could open these plantation shutters. My husband is very particular about things being in front of the TV when he can't turn on the TV or these blinds. So I had to make sure that he could open up his blinds and let the sun in. But this is the best place for our Christmas tree with the way this room is configured. Racks, racks in my sack, or in my back, yeah. Yasha, dancer, prancer, and vixen. Comet, Cupid, Donner, and Blitzen. No, I can't forget about the one with the red nose. When I fly high, my sleigh still stay ten toes. Bring the bees, bring the trees, bring the trees. Put the lights up, tis the season. Need no French ties, no Ebenezer. Don't believe this. I need Jesus. I need Jesus. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing. And by the time I finished cleaning and decorating, all of the snow and pine needles were back everywhere so I was almost like why did I clean in the first place but if you are like me I cannot decorate a dirty space so it was all worth it we just had to run the vacuum again right quick and here's our clean and empty living room space. I have removed all of the decor that I had from fall and all of the things that were in there except my blanket ladder because for me it's best that I start with an empty palette before I begin decorating. And you can see in the background some of the Christmas decor that I'm going to be using back in our entryway area. But we are all ready to get started to making this space feel warm and cozy and festive. So I started with my mantelpiece with the garland that I showed you guys that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. And guys, I have to tell you that this garland was heavy and it gave me the business. I did not want to put nails in the mantle, so I tried thumbtacks and the garland was just too heavy and I don't have a flat front um, on this top piece, so it was hard to hang them. I did end up getting some very small nails and I had to nail the garland in place I didn't want to do that but they are very three very tiny small holes and I'll reuse those same holes year after year I saw on another video some flat command 
of strips that will hold it where you can hook those but I didn't know about those before I did this so um, it took some work to get this garland up here so if you guys have an idea or you can tell me in the comments how you hang your garland um, but this worked and was serviceable for this year. about ready to quit after I got through playing with that garland but it turned out very pretty next I'm going to hang up our stockings with those little stocking hooks you just saw these are silver stocking hooks that I purchased from Amazon last year and they just slide right onto the mantle and we can hang our stockings now we actually really use our stockings they are packed to the brim on Christmas morning and these hooks did a great job holding all of our stockings up Here I'm trying to, to decide if I want to leave the stockings um, like this or if I want to slide the kids' stockings to one side and slide um, Terrell and mine to the other side. I think I like it with the space. You guys tell me what you think. To the top of the mantle, I'm just going to add this rustic Christmas tree and a red bill. I purchased both of these items from Hobby Lobby. The tree I purchased last year and the bill I just picked up this year. On the other side of the mantle, I'm just going to add one of these nutcrackers. Terrell loves nutcrackers and this little ceramic uh, white bill. At the fireplace area, um, I have these little light up gifts. I think I showed you in a haul that I purchased from Dee Dee's Discount. And it was, they weren't a set of three, I just purchased three. Um, but they were very inexpensive and they were neutral and just very pretty. And they're going to add a great touch to the fireplace. in this corner I'm just going to go ahead and plug up my little light up deer but you'll see I'll move him and I'll move that table in a little while on the other side of the fireplace I'm going to use these pretty white iron lanterns I purchased from Ross and inside of those I'm just going to fill them with some extra ornaments that we aren't using and um, they're going to sit on the other side of the fireplace I'm also adding these small flocked Christmas trees. I don't remember where I purchased those last year, but I added one on each side, one with the lantern and one with the gifts. I love decorating my little shelf on the wall for each season and I'm keeping it very simple by putting a few pieces on each shelf. I love those little faux book sets I picked up from Roses that says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. And then these little tiny faux Christmas trees that came from Target last season, I picked those up for a couple of bucks at the end of the season. I am going to remove these plates from the wall and hang up the Oh Come Let Us Adore Him sign as well as this wreath, a wreath that I already had. Um, I'm just here trying to see where I want to place it and before I place it, it needed to kind of be fluffed because it had been smashed and I really haven't used this wreath in a couple of years but I thought it would look great up there above that sign. I'm just
just going to add in this poinsettia that I already had and these beautiful light up gold balls that I purchased from Ross probably six or seven years ago. They're still going strong, um, but I think they're so beautiful and this Mary sign. The last thing I'm going to add is this beautiful little angel that I showed you in a haul that I picked up from Home Goods or either TJ Maxx, but I think it was Home Goods. Here I am getting this spray ready to put on the coffee table. I am wrapping it in fairy lights. Um, these sprays I bought from Roses last year, um, probably for four or five dollars, and I absolutely love them. Now these lights are coming off yellow on camera, but they are not yellow. They are um, a warm white. To the coffee table i'm just going to add this white tray that i already had and then i'm going to place my lighted spray in front of it i'm also going to add in the beautiful angel that i showed you guys in a haul i just love her so much she's so pretty um, so I'm going to add her. She's going to be the focal point of this decoration. And then I'm going to add a candle holder and this little red votive I've had for many years um, around her. And then I'm going to add this Believe candle. And in the front of that, I'm going to add this Christmas white wooden Christmas sign. Now I had a gold Believe sign as well and I couldn't decide which one I like better so you guys tell me which one you like better the believe or the Christmas sign and I also added in the back a joy um, star that I thought just gave it a little bit of height and it turned out so pretty I did end up adding the believe sign to the mantle behind the nutcracker I thought it was really really pretty there so you guys tell me what you think and then over here next to the fireplace, I'm going to add my basket back and put in these potato sack type things I picked up from Hobby Lobby last year that say Merry Christmas. And I'm going to just add a Santa in there. I thought this turned out so cute. I usually have a blanket in this basket, but I just set Santa right there in the middle. And then I'm going to add this ho 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 sign that I picked up. And then in the corner, I'm going to add one of these ladders that I picked up last year from Roses as well as a little $5 tree that came from Dollar Tree and I just put some lights on it. And then I'm going to slide my reindeer right in front of that and this turned out so cute. Next to the Christmas tree, I'm just going to add a white vase with some faux poinsettias that I have. I love faux poinsettias. They just scream Christmas <laughs> to me. And then I'm going to add these very large wooden signs that I used for a couple years from Hobby Lobby as well as these um, linen gifts. They're wrapped in a linen fabric that I had on my fireplace last year. So I'm just gonna set these under the Christmas tree until we have gifts to put there. And it turned out very nice. I have had these Christmas pillow covers for a few years. So I'm going to just cover my existing pillows with these pillow covers to add to our couch. this green goodness and grace throw up from Belk this summer it was on clearance I guess because it was a fall color but I just saved it for Christmas time and I'm just going to throw my Christmas pillows on the couch and this green pillow I had from my fall decor and it goes great in here with the Christmas decor so I'm going to be using that one again 
I'm just going to add one blanket to the blanket ladder and that is this red, white, and green blanket I've had for several years. I think it's so pretty. I haven't even unfolded it um, from how I had it last year. And then this very um, plush Christmas throws I keep in the basket beside our chair and a half because we love to cozy up and so the extra Christmas blankets I have will go in this basket on the side. Now I'm going to hang our garland on the stairway and I am using zip ties that I picked up from Walmart and guys when I tell you this made it so easy to hang this garland I just put it where I wanted it and use the zip ties on the rail and this garland is not moving I do wish I had one more piece and I may go get another piece for the very top I don't know but I'm not really wanting to go and spend any more money but it looks really good the way it already is And here I'm just quickly vacuuming up the mess from the glitter and the garland off of the stairs. I decided to add a small tree collar to my tree in the corner. This came from Dollar Tree. It was only $5 and it is a metal tree collar and I'm so glad because it added a little bit of something um, to the tree that was missing. This is a different day um, and I decided after I did um, finished my decor that there were a few pieces I wanted to add and this little believe sign was one of them you can see I have on different clothes so <laughs> um, I am also going to add in this planter and these poinsettias that my mom gave me they are so pretty but I'm not really a fan of the pot um but the flowers are gorgeous and so i added that to the side of my blanket ladder and you will see later i'm going to end up moving this poinsettia to the kitchen i also have these pillow covers that ended up coming in the mail that i forgot that i ordered um but they are an olive green and i'm going to add a green pillow cover to uh, excuse me a green pillow to my love seat to add to the ones that i already have over over there I also decided to add in one of our extra throws on the couch I just wanted to add a little punch of color and these bowls I showed you some fabric that I had in one of my videos that I picked up at the end of the season and it ended up not being ribbon but it was fabric and so I used both of those rolls to make about four or five bowls to go on my stair railing and on this wreath that I'm going to use at the top of the stairs. I just used some hot glue and scissors to make these bowls. They're nothing special, but I'm going to use some more of those zip ties to place this ribbon on this wreath that I've had for some years. I did make this wreath with a wreath form and some garland all of which came from the Dollar Tree but this was a few years ago so I'm just going to attach the bow to the wreath and this wreath is going to go at the top of my stairs and um, you'll also see me attach these bows with um, the zip ties to the garland on the stairs as well so I'm just going to attach it cut off the extra um, and then I'm going to just add in some white berries that I cut off of some Christmas picks. Um, and this wreath is going to be ready to go. It's very simple and beautiful. And I'm very pleased with it. just going to add the bows with the zip ties to the garland on my stairs and they turned out so pretty. I'm just 
just going to use another zip tie to tie the wreath to the top of the stairs and you can see that I dropped it and I had to get my trusty helper to come and get it and bring it back upstairs to me. Guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I am so happy with how everything turned out. We have really been enjoying sitting and looking at the Christmas tree and the other lights and the fire cozying up at nighttime as we usher in the Christmas season. If this is your first time visiting, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, please click that like button and consider subscribing and joining our little YouTube family to my loyal subscribers. Thank you guys so much for coming back. We are so excited about all of the other things that we're getting ready to do this season. We have so much more to decorate and so much more fun to have. So if you don't want to miss any of that, go ahead and subscribe. Click that notification bell so that you won't miss out on anything. But that is all for today. And so while I'm going to say goodbye, you go ahead and enjoy some clips of our home decorated for the holiday. And I even threw in a few shots in the evening. Thanks guys and I'll see you guys later. It's cold outside But the fire keeps us warm We can't spend the night Underneath the mistletoe And I've gotten you a present That I put under the tree Tomorrow it is Christmas Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I've longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out of nowhere, just us and no one else. I've decorated everything to be perfect for this week. Tomorrow. Hey guys and welcome back to another video today we are creating a super fun hot cocoa bar for the holidays for my family to enjoy if this is your first time visiting my name is Melanie and I do all things decorating lifestyle fashion all the things if you like that kind of content go ahead and click that like button and subscribe and we are going to have so much fun today let's get into it So I'm going to start this project by hanging these shelves I picked up from Ross this summer. And I'm going to show you this little hack for hanging shelves and pictures. You use some painter's tape to tape across from one nail hole to the other. And then you're going to use a marker or a pen or pencil to mark where the nails go, the nail holes. Then you're going to remove the painter's tape place that tape where you want it on the wall and this will help you know exactly where to place your nail holes and you don't have to be nailing and re-nailing trying to get it right and then I also use a level to make sure that I have placed my uh, tape strip up there evenly and that it is not slanted or crooked. It works every time. to start by styling these two shelves I have put up there 
and I tried to keep it relatively simple but I did want it to be very festive when we looked up there so on the top I just added one of our nutcrackers and a white a floral arrangement that I've had for a couple of years I'm also going to end up adding a plaid reindeer that I believe I picked it up from Walmart or roses I'm not sure and this joy sign that came from Hobby Lobby last year and also a little plush Christmas tree and our Santa sign I've had that Santa sign forever and on the second shelf I'm going to add this tin and a tea towel Christmas tea towel that I've had for a little while and then I have a cranberry uh, arrangement that I used last year in another part of my home and that turned out so cute I really love how it looks and I'm gonna add a few more things to this shelf after I place the cranberries in there I have this days until Christmas sign and my little hot cocoa sign that I'm gonna add as well of course before I start adding items to the actual hot cocoa bar I have to clean off the surface and if you'll notice those little ridges they kind of drive me crazy because sugar and things get down in there so I just have to vacuum it and clean it out and then I'm going to use some of my Mrs. Meyers peppermint spray to wipe the surface down. So the first thing I'm going to add to the space is my small red Keurig. I do have a bigger one, but I like to use this red one at different times of the year, so I'm going to add that first. And then I'm going to add in this hot cocoa bar sign that I showed you from a haul. I picked this one up from Ross for $7.99 and it is the perfect size. And I was trying to add these bead garlands, but I couldn't make it work it just did not work out and so you'll see that I just said forget about those I'm going to also add this wooden tray that I'm going to end up sitting all of my hot cocoa bar ingredients on and I add it back in the glass jar that has our K cups in it I shared this hot cocoa sign from I believe it was Hobby Lobby um, that I picked up a few weeks ago and so here I'm going to just start filling up our glass canisters with the different things that we're going to put in our cocoa and I picked these little jars up from Amazon last year I will see if they still have them and I'll link them below and so I have some marshmallows and I have some chocolate spoons that we're going to use in the two smaller ones I'm going to add in some milk chocolate chips and then I'm going to add in some white chocolate chips in the smallest container for our actual hot cocoa mix I love to use these uh, melt away Santas by Russell Stover they come from Walmart I'm sure they have them in other places but they are a dollar a pack and they are just milk chocolate Santas and you pour the Santas into your mug and fill it up with hot milk or hot water and it makes the most delicious hot chocolate and this is so non messy for kids highly recommend them
this gangsta wrapper mug I found at Home Goods for $3.99. was an end of season clearance find last year. It is a drink dispenser, but I love how it looks, so I'm just going to display it and use it this season when we're entertaining. So here is the completed look of our hot cocoa bar. It didn't take me very long to put it together, but I think it turned out so cute and we are going to have so much fun making hot cocoa. My kids have friends over and they love making hot cocoa at the hot cocoa bar. And we love making warm drinks when we're getting ready to have family movie nights. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in this kind of content, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe. We would love to have you a part of the family. And as I've been saying, we still have so much more to do to celebrate the holidays. So go ahead and click that notification bell and I will see you guys next time. Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better On a blanket with the skyline painted in blue Ooh, yeah, that's what we do We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Hey guys and welcome back to another video. I am doing a kitchen clean and decorate late at night. The family is in bed so I have the house all to myself. So if you want that cleaning motivation, I have it for you. We're going to clean and decorate for Christmas. So glad you're here and let's go ahead and hop into it. So I'm going to start by showing you all of the things that we're going to be using to decorate the kitchen today. And there's even some remnants of our hot cocoa bar. So we're gonna get all of that cleaned up and organized. I'm going to throw on some fun Christmas music so you can just sit and relax and watch me or you can get on up and let this motivate you to clean and decorate either way. Let's get into it. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. Chosen, snow is falling, Elfie's calling. Check my list twice, mostly y'all done. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. They say, say, Nick, what you got up in that bag? Yeah, I got racks, racks in my sack, hurt my back. In that back, yeah. I got racks, racks in my sack, or in my back, yeah. Yasha, dancer, prancer, and vixen. Comet, Cupid, Donner, and Blitzen. 
No, I can't forget about the one with the red nose. When I fly high, my sleigh still stay ten toes. Bring the beat, bring the cheese, bring the cheese. Put the lights up, tis the season. Need no French ties, no Ebenezer. Don't believe it. No, no, no. Y'all need Jesus. Y'all need Jesus. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing. Up in that bag, yeah. I got a racks, racks in my sack, or in my bag, yeah. They said, Say, Nick, what you got up in that bag, yeah. I got a racks, racks in my sack, or in my bag, yeah. They said, Say, Nick, what you got up in that bag, yeah. I got a racks, racks in my sack, or in my bag, yeah. They said, Say, Nick, what you got up in that bag. I got a racks, racks in my sack, or in my bag. It's cold outside. Keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down, and the storm is on its way. But as long as you're around, Everything will be okay Cause all I wanna do is spend this holiday with you Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for me and you I longed for this moment To have you for myself In a cabin out to start my decorating by decorating this tiered tray with a wooden sign a red candle holder and then a little bottle brush tree that I have had for a while on the top of the tiered tray I'm going to add a snowman mug that I believe I purchased this from Dollar Tree a couple of years ago and then to the snowman mug I'm going to add just a little wooden sign I believe I got this from Dollar Tree as well last year and then a little piece of a Christmas pine pick uh, to the side of that and the ceramic um, Christmas tree green Christmas tree I think I picked up some gold ones of these as well and I either got these from the Dollar Tree or um, Dollar General these Brock Nougats are my favorite Christmas candy and so I'm just going to stuff some paper in the bottom of the mug and fill the mug up with these yummy mint nougats. I still need my kitchen to be functional even with the decor so I'm going to add back my charcuterie board this little stand where I keep all of my little cooking staples I picked up this crock from Ross um, and in there I'm going to add back my wooden utensils that I actually use every day I also have this little red rolling pin that is so old it came from Dollar Tree and I picked up these little fun spatulas last year at the end of the season from Walmart and I believe I paid about 50 cent each for those last year and I just stuck them away with my other holiday decor and pulled them out this year and they are so fun and cute in this little crock. I am also going to add back my little jar that I keep my bacon fat in and then also my olive oil that I cook with and I'm also going to add in this little wooden snowflake that I used in my kitchen decor last year and this little sign came from Dollar Tree last year just some of my extra decor pieces that I like to use and put around the house as fillers and then here's my beautiful Santa cookie jar I'm so excited 
about him and so I'm gonna place him by my knife block and then I have this little uh, metal stand that's made for books and such but I'm gonna place our cookies for Santa plate here and this is the actual plate that we use to leave cookies for Santa and we put his milk in this little jug and this came from Ross probably about four years ago but guys I saw this at Ross uh, last month the same cookies for Santa set and you can write a little message to Santa with your chalk on the plate and then I'm just going to add for effect this little short uh, string of Christmas lights around my little cooking center on my little white ladder I'm going to add these vintage dish towels that I got from my grandmother um, when she passed away I took a lot of little things like this from her they are very old and um, they do have some wear and tear but I absolutely love them and I am going to use them in my decor every year just because they remind me of her and here are my vintage Disney oven mitts. Um, we love Disney around here, especially my oldest daughter, and I've already used them several times. And then I'm just gonna add these pretty dish towels to the front of the oven. Here I'm going to hang this wreath that I picked up for $5 from Dollar Tree. It is the perfect size. Uh, for our pantry door and this farm fresh Christmas tree sign also came from Dollar Tree and it was five dollars and y'all it fit perfectly above my pantry I absolutely love it and to the little corner by my kitchen table I have this merry and bright sign that I picked up last year or the year before from Hobby Lobby and I just set it on a plate to give it just a tad bit of height and I picked up this ceramic letters from Santa mailbox from Dollar General it was ten dollars and I thought that was such a great deal and it looks so pretty on the counter I've had this Christmas tree cookie jar for many years and I use it every year to put candy in and I wanted it to look like a Christmas tree so I picked up these green uh, mint to Hershey's Kisses I picked up two bags of them but this cookie jar is bigger than I thought it was so I have to get some more to fill it up but y'all these bags of Kisses cost three dollars and thirty cent I don't know if I'll be buying any more of those but it's so cute in the cookie jar on the peninsula, I'm going to add in this tray that you guys have seen before. Uh, one of the small wreaths I picked up from Hobby Lobby and my winter candy apple bath and body works candle. It smells so delicious. And then this pretty bottle brush tree. This is a taller one. I can't even remember where I purchased this last year, guys, but it is silver and red. And then I'm just going to go in with some ornaments, some white and red ornaments around the little wreath. And then I'm going to add in these little pine cone ornaments that I bought for a craft. And I had those left over, but they added the perfect touch to my little display. this old phone connection jack on the wall so I always like to cover that up and I have that home for the holiday sign and I moved my plant from the den into the kitchen um, I thought it looked better next to the hot cocoa bar and so now I'm going to clean off the kitchen table so that I can make my little centerpiece for my table First thing I'm going to add is this pretty table runner that I already had. It is uh, cream and red and green and I think it's so pretty with, with the rest of the decor that I have going on in the kitchen. 
and then of course I'm gonna add back my Lazy Susan because we actually do use it and this white vase I had for spring with my spring decor um, actually with my fall decor I'm sorry um, I had it sitting on the floor next to my bench but I am going to add in all of these faux poinsettias um, to make a simple centerpiece uh, for the table. just going to start adding in a couple of fun pieces to finish off the look of our little centerpiece and you'll see my peppermints again because I actually absolutely love those so I'm going to add some to this decor this Merry Christmas sign to the wall next to our deck. I just love how it looks and it just makes everything so festive. And y'all, this is funny. I had the idea to hang this wreath above the back door and I was like, oh, this looks so cute. But guess what? <laughs> I didn't think of is that we wouldn't be able to open the door. So I just left that in there because I thought it was so funny and I did end up taking it down. Um, and then to uh, next to my canister said I'm going to add a Santa and this little white pedestal bowl and guess what I'm about to put in the bowl guys more peppermints I absolutely love them and they look so pretty um, in the decor and then I'm just going to add this fun little red bell I like to hide Alexa on our counter and the aroma diffuser I picked up this mixing bowl from Walmart at the end of the season last year for a couple of dollars and I thought it looked really cute on our stove and then I'm just going to add this cute little poinsettia to our soap dish and guys here is a finished look at our kitchen um here's our hot cocoa bar if you did not catch the creation of our fun hot cocoa bar i will link that in the description and at the end of the video check that out it was so cool to make and we've already been enjoying it but this is just a night view of our completed kitchen I was able to get it done in peace and I'm so so happy with it it really has thrown me into the mood and so you guys just go ahead and enjoy it and at the end I am going to throw in some clips of our kitchen and how it looks in the morning and daytime Merry Christmas baby Rain is coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Every Christmas, honey, yeah. the snowman's dusting off his hat, putting on the show for everybody. Give them a smile that lasts another year There's something that happens with sleigh There's a ring in when December is Where the children are singing, yeah it's Merry Christmas, baby I hope you guys enjoy this video if you did give it a big old thumbs up it really does help my channel if this is your first time visiting thank you so much for joining me today I hope that you enjoyed it to my subscribers thank you guys so much if you have not 
subscribed what are you waiting for go ahead and subscribe and join our family we would love to have you for all of the decorating cleaning and lifestyle fun we have so much more to share with you this holiday season so come on back click that notification bell and we will see you next time merry christmas everybody there's something that happens with Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to do some Christmas decorating in our entryway and in the dining room. And you can see behind me, a lot is going on back there in our dining room. So today we're just going to get that space all together. Uh, if you're new here, thank you so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to our little YouTube family. My name is Melanique and I do all things decorating, home, lifestyle, fashion, all the things to my subscribers. Welcome back. We are in full Christmas mode over here. And so by now you've probably seen me decorate several areas in our home. And so this is the next one. So excited. So you guys come along and we're going to get it done today. Let's go. Okay, so I'm just gonna give you a quick shot of our entryway table, I'm gonna clean this off and um, then we're going to decorate this space. Um, here is just a shot of what everything looks like and there I am. And this is actually the bench that I had if you've watched my other videos. This is the little bench I had in the family room under the window and we had to put the Christmas tree there. So I moved this bench here. And so we're going to just have that in our entryway space for right now. And so here is a full shot. This area is not large, but we're gonna decorate it. So let's go. Merry Christmas, baby. Rain is coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Every Christmas, honey. So for the entryway table, I really wanted to create a winter wonderland, and so you're going to see how I made that happen. These light up houses actually came from Hobby Lobby's fall decor line. I bought these during the fall and didn't use them and now they are 75% off so I picked up one more and the tiniest one that you're going to see um, cost me a dollar and fifty cent and these are fabulous and I'm using some trays that I already had around the house to kind of create this little raised village and I'm going to play around a little bit with the decor that I'm going to put on it. I picked these rustic trees up from Dollar General and they are gorgeous. I don't know if you could see the glitter detail, but I picked up a large one and a shorter one and they just made my little village look so cute.
father gave me this little fiberglass or plastic nativity scene when my babies were little and it plays music and I always like to use it but I wasn't sure about it but you'll see later that I am going to change it out and move it somewhere else. So it looked like a lot going on to me, so I ended up moving it and placing, replacing it with this wooden joy sign, but I will be using it in my bedroom Christmas decor, and you'll see that later. And what I'm doing now is just wrapping some of these fairy lights around the garland. I decided to do that just to add a little bit um, of a pop of light. So come. I try to figure this out Cause you like something for me Under the Christmas tree So baby come home tonight And let me hold you real tight Cause it's Christmas time All I do Oh it's Christmas tiny pencil trees that I have that had red decor on them I did not feel like removing them or adding anything else so I kind of um, twisted them to the back and turned them to where you could only see the green mostly Okay, so moving to the dining room, I inserted this clip of me previously putting up this little pencil tree that I purchased from Walmart. I wanted a very small tree to go in my dining room area because my table and buffet take up a lot of room, but I really wanted to, people to be able to see my Christmas lights from the front of the house and our main Christmas tree is toward the back and so this little tree was absolutely perfect. I found this beautiful cream and hunter green 
um, table runner from Walmart I love the subtle detail and the neutrality of it it goes perfectly in my dining room and in this room I want it to, it to flow with the entryway with neutral colors and to the table I'm adding a bowl I already had and inside I'm just gonna stuff it with bags and paper so that I won't have to place that many pieces of the decor that I'm gonna add inside These cinnamon pine cones came from Walmart at the end of the season last year. I paid a dollar for this pack of about six or seven of them and they smell great. I'm also going to add in some decorative balls that I had in here previously as well as some gold, silver, and green ornaments. flameless candles actually came from again Hobby Lobby's fall line I did not end up using them in my fall decor um, so I'm going to use them now and I'm going to use some of the small wreaths that I shared with you in a haul um, to frame my candles and they are battery operated and they turned out beautiful <laughs> chargers also came from Hobby Lobby and the Christmas decor was 60% off actually these were not included in the Christmas decor but they were $2.99 each and I love the way that they kind of blend in with the table they're not so obtrusive <music> just adding some white plates that I picked up from Walmart these plates are by mainstays and they were a dollar and 20 cent a piece these napkins also match the table runner and it came with a set of four napkins and these beautiful green and natural napkin rings rain is coming out to play Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Merry Christmas, honey. I created these little place cards or tags using my Cricut machine and some ornaments uh, that I picked up from Dollar Tree. Um, I didn't put a pine cone on all of them because I couldn't decide which ones I like better. If you like the ones without the pine cone ornament or um, the ones with it, let me know in the comments. But they were so cute and added a great touch to my place setting. I wanted to keep the buffet pretty simple, so I'm only going to add a few pieces to um, the top of it to just add a little bit of festivity to it. I picked up these pine stems from Hobby Lobby. They were 60% off $7.99 each and so it added just a really simple nice touch to the top of the buffet. Merry Christmas baby The snow is laying two feet deep now wish upon a falling star So all your secret dreams can come true There's something that happens when sleigh There's a ring in when December is When the children are singing, yeah It's Merry Christmas, baby
Merry Christmas, baby. Reindeer's coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Merry Christmas, honey. Yeah. The snowman's dusting off his hat. On the show for everybody to give them a smile that lasts another year. Guys, that is it for today. I thank you so much for watching. If you have not, if you will go ahead and like this video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you will know every time I post a new video for you to enjoy. This is truly the season to be thankful and to be merry. And so as we step into the Christmas season, I just want to encourage you to find the joy in whatever your situation is, whatever you're going through. My dad always Merry says, Christmas, I thank God that things are as well as they so are. And so as we celebrate this season, remember that Jesus is the reason for the season. And I'll see you guys next time. Dreams can come true. Today, we are doing something so fun. We are making Christmas boxes or welcome Christmas, December boxes, whatever you want to call them for my kids. They are eight, 16 and 20. I have, uh, my boy is eight and my girls are 16 and 20. And I'm just going to make them some fun Christmas boxes just to welcome in the season so join me as i do that today if you are new here welcome i'm so glad you're here if you like this kind of content and you get a, just a little bit of inspiration won't you go ahead and just click that like button and subscribe and join our family to my subscribers thank you guys so much for being here go ahead and click that notification bell so you won't miss any of the action if you have, you can go back and look at all of our Christmas decorating videos and also what I got my eight-year-old son for Christmas. And I will link that video down in the comments. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, here is everything I have for my kids December or welcome in Christmas boxes. I really just call them Christmas boxes. I know some people call them December boxes. So I do this for them every year. Each year it's a little bit different. And I'll tell you, sometimes we do Christmas Eve boxes, but I'm not going to really do Christmas Eve 
boxes this year. I'm gonna do a little bit something different that I'll be sharing with you guys later. But I'm just gonna quickly show you what's gonna go into their welcome December boxes. Um, first, I have, I'll start with these. Um, each year they get a new ornament for the tree. I think I shared with you in um, one of my hauls, um, this Princess Tiana ornament, Hallmark ornament that I picked up for my 16 year old Layla. Um, she absolutely loves Princess and the Frog. So that will be her ornament. And then I struggled a little bit finding my 20 year old her ornament, but I was in five below. And she loves Disney too. I just couldn't find her one that I wanted to get this year. And I saw this cheese it ornament and she loves cheese its guys. This is so her. She loves um, just quirky, different things like this. So I think that she's gonna really think this is cool. Um, and then Dylan got a Hallmark ornament as well. He loves Harry Potter. If you saw in what I got my kid for Christmas video, um, I'll have that linked if you haven't seen what I got my kid for Christmas. Um, so his ornament is Harry Potter because he's really into Harry Potter right now. Um, so they'll each get a new ornament to add to the tree. Um, they're each going to get their Christmas PJs and every year our family has matching PJs and yes, my husband participates. So he and I have the same pajama pants that I picked up from Old Navy and I bought these way back when they put their Christmas pajamas out and I got them on a very good sale. So I've had these pajamas since October, but they're each gonna get a pair of their pajama pants and I have white long sleeve shirts for us to wear with these, but I have to put something on the shirt with my Cricut. I'm not quite sure what it's going to say. Um, and then, so so we don't have the shirts, but they'll get their PJ bottoms. And then um, Old Navy also, Black Friday, I think I picked up these Santa, y'all aren't these just precious and they feel so good. Um, so everybody got a pair of these, but they'll, theirs are, is going in their little box and they match our pajama pants. That's so up my alley. But these ended up being $2 a pair. Um, so we started doing Advent. Let me just go ahead and say these first, I'm sorry. So each kid, and I'm missing a game, each one of my kids will get a game in their box um, because Dylan is so excited about his sister being home from college and us having family game night. So um, each person gets a game in their box for us to be playing during this season. So the first one is called, You Are a Liar. I know that does not sound nice at all, <laughs> but it's called You Are a Liar or maybe not. And so <laughs> the way you play this game is you give, you read these facts off of the card and then everyone else is supposed to guess if the fact is true or not um, and decide if it's the truth or a lie. Um, so I thought this was very fun because we love trivia and interesting facts. So someone will get that in their box, probably Gabby. And then this one is called Family Game Night. Um, I picked this one up from Target for $6.99 and it's actually still on sale right now. Um, a fun field family game night. There are four different games. Um, Hum That Tune, Who Am I, General Knowledge Trivia, and um, Charades. So we're gonna have a lot of fun with that. And I have another one I'll have to go grab that one i'm not sure what it is but you'll see it when i'm putting the boxes together and then everybody will get a christmas coloring book um yes my big girls love to color i love to color so every season i buy everybody a new christmas coloring book and these came from the dollar tree y'all and we still have our old ones from over the years so when we have a coloring night 
I'll take out all the old coloring books and we'll flip through them and see what we want to color and then we'll talk about who's coloring the best and so I have several boxes of 196 Crayola crayons and all of that jazz so it's a thing over here so um, everybody will get a coloring book and then back here Dylan will get these Grinch slippers that I just picked up at Ross on Black Friday so those will go in his box just because there's something fun and then everybody will get advent um an advent something an advent calendar calendar and dylan's this year i thought this was the coolest thing and by the time you're seeing this um they've already gotten these so um i think we are a day behind though so he'll get to open two boxes on one day but there are 24 genuine specimens in here and it includes a dig kit. So each day he gets to open up a different gym and he is going to love this. Um, I just thought that was the coolest thing. So you get 24 real rocks and minerals, one dig brick, one dig tool, one brush, one magnifying glass and a storage pouch. So he gets a little pouch. So each day when he opens up a gym, he can put it in a pouch um, all the way up to Christmas. So I, I really love that. And guys, I think this came from Amazon. So I will try to link it. If it didn't come from Amazon, it came from Target, but I'm quite sure I got this from Amazon. Um, now for the girls, um, I got them last year, like 12 days of beauty from Ulta or somewhere, but they were so expensive. I'm talking like 50, 60, $70 for those <laughs> things. So I wasn't gonna pay that and I really want them. They really like doing the advent every day. They all three get together and say, let's open our next, um, our, our next little gift or our advent for the day. So I, came up with this idea and oh and I picked these um, 12 days of socks up from five below so I'll open this and each one of them will get a couple pair of extra Christmas socks in their box as well and this was only five dollars so that's really fun and so for the girls back to the girls what I decided to do I don't know where I, my head came up with this but I decided to create my own little 12 days of Christmas for them. They won't get 24 days, they'll get 12, um, maybe 15 if I have enough stuff. But I ordered these nice burlap little gift sacks from Amazon. And there are, hold on. There are 25 pieces in here. So yeah, they'll only get 12 each. <laughs> so they'll each, they'll, I'm gonna take these bags and there are tags and I'm going to, let me see if I can get them out, y'all. come with these little tags. So I'm gonna take a marker and I'm gonna write one through 12 on each one, on a, each one of these tags um, for one for Layla, one for Gabby and I'm gonna attach them here. So in each one of these bags, they're going to get a little beauty gift. And I saw this one at five below. It has 12 little pieces in it. So I'm gonna separate this and put one little um, thing in their little bag. So they'll get a little beauty item each day. And for $5, guys, versus 60 or 70 for one advent, I'm gonna create my own 12 days of beauty for them. Um, if I must say so myself, I think it's awesome. <laughs> so this is, um, these came from Macy's. These are beauty bags. And guys, if I was smart, I would have pre-opened this so you could see it so you know when i was um showing you christmas gifts i purchased some things from macy's um for dylan and for some other folks and so you know they'll always give you a little bonus buy or a little add-on so they offered me 
um, these little beauty bag add-ons for a couple of dollars. And I picked them up. So this one comes with um, a makeup bag. Let's see if I can open it. This can be a gift in itself. So I can zip this up and fold it up and put it in one of the pouches as a little makeup bag. But then you get, let's see. You get all of these little items here. Look at this. So um, this is a highlighter um, powder. Not sure if that's their color, but we'll try it. Um, you get a cleansing oil. Here's a perfume sample of Coach Perfume. I think this is so cool. And then um, you get this serum, complexion serum. And in this one, we got another sample of Coach Perfume, and that's awesome. So each girl gets a perfume sample. And then there's this um, anti-aging sunless tanning cream. And then this Glam Glow uh, Moisturizer. So that is two, four, six, seven, eight including the bag, eight little things that can go in our little bags. Okay, so in case you didn't see that, these are called Macy's Beauty Boxes. If you're interested in ordering one of these for your girls, um, if you have a teenage girl or a young adult girl, but in this one, oh, I didn't even know I was getting that one. This one came with a shower cap created for Macy's. So I'm about to put this in the stocking stuffer pile. So somebody will be getting this because <laughs> it's not going to fit in one of the bags. So that's awesome. Um, and so this one, let's see what we get in this one. No. So in this one, um, we get, what is this? Oh, sen sensational foaming shower gel we're gonna get some Clarins this is some anti-cellulite cream honey mama needs to keep this one I need <laughs> oh my gosh we also got some coconut body scrub Uh, clean classic rain perfume and Layla loves perfume so I'll probably give her that one and then um, this is some nail polish remover how cute is that and then we have um, I'm red wine mask sheet guys so this was so cute and I think this was like if you $3.99 add on if you wanted to add it on for purchasing. So all of these are gonna go in my girls 12 days of beauty um advent. So I've been so excited about that. Excuse me with this. And so these are the three boxes. I think I well, maybe not shared. I don't know if I shared these, but I picked these up from DD's Dee discount. And Dylan's going to get the bigger one because he has more things. So we're going to put this stuff together. Merry Christmas, baby Reindeer's coming out to play Santa Claus is packing the presents Making sure you've been behaving okay Merry Christmas, honey yeah. The snowman's dusting off his hat on the show for everybody to give them a smile that lasts another year. There's something that happens with sleigh. There's a ring in when December is when the children are singing. Yeah. It's 
Merry Christmas, baby. The snow is laid into feet deep. Now wish upon a falling star so all your secret dreams can come true. There's something that happens when sleigh bells are ringing When December is when the children are singing, yeah It's Merry Christmas, baby Ooh, and it's room at the table for big and for small All the fire is popping Okay, so here here are my 12 bags. Guys, they turned out so cute. Probably next year, um, if they like this, and they will, um, I'll probably just make it a little bit more festive. Um, I was going to do the numbers with my Cricut, like I probably said earlier, but I just don't didn't have the time. And this is going to be cute anyway, so I'll probably put some cuter letters on there uh, numbers not letters um and maybe use ribbon instead of the little burlap string but these are layla's i'm keeping them up here so i can keep them separate and then i have gabby's down here and so now we're going to put our little boxes together Merry Christmas, baby Reindeer's coming out to play Santa Claus is packing the presents Making sure you've been behaving okay Merry Christmas, honey yeah. The snowman's dusting off his hat on the show for everybody to give them a smile that lasts another year. There's something that happens when sleigh bells are ringing when December is when the children are singing. Yeah. It's Merry Christmas, baby. Merry Christmas, baby The snow is laid into feet deep Now wish upon a falling star So all your secret dreams can come true There's something that
Christmas, baby. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. So here are my completed December welcome Christmas boxes that I have for my three kids. Um, again, they are eight. He, this is my son's box. He's eight. My daughter's box, she is 16. And then my other daughter's box she is 20 and um, Dylan's box is bigger because I knew I had this advent, but they all have the same items except Dylan does have slippers. <laughs> I did add those little slippers for him and a little bag of candy. But essentially they all have their PJs that we're wearing for Christmas this year, the matching fuzzy socks and two extra pair of Christmas socks. They each have a game, a coloring book, and their little advent system and an ornament. And so this is how my girls' little 12 days of beauty bags turned out, even though they're not Christmas colors. I think they're going to love them. It's kind of like a blind bag type thing. Um, my oldest daughter, who's 20, she still loves blind bags and all of that kind of stuff. So they're gonna have fun um, each day. Now they can't start until there are 12 days of Christmas left on theirs, which is totally fine. They're big. They're big, they're they're grown, so not, well, my 16 year old's not grown, but she's older, so um, they're totally fine with that, and they had to do that last year. So I tried to put the um, first four bags on the top so they don't have to really go digging um, around, but it'll probably be messed up anyway because they will hang up their ornaments, and then they'll take the game out um, because we'll play um, games during the season, but I love doing this, you guys. It's just kind of like a little early Christmas treat, and um, I just love creating these kinds of memories for my kids, and these boxes are reusable. I still have a few upstairs that I've used before, so They'll take their things out and we'll store those boxes with the Christmas decor and I'll use those again next year. And I will also link for you, if you're interested, these little burlap bags that I have my daughter's little treats in. And they are also reusable. Now, I won't be able to reuse these little tags if, uh, if I want to use these for something else. But I can reuse them if I'm going to do this um, activity again. Um, but yeah, everything guys, this is, I'm so excited. So I hope that this inspired you. Now, if you want to do this for Christmas Eve instead of now, that's an idea as well. I used to do this on Christmas Eve, but I said, I really want them to enjoy these things throughout the season. So, um, if you have any questions, just ask me. Um, in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer, but I will link um, the advent calendar and I'll link these uh, bags where I um, purchased these, which were from Amazon. The pajamas came from Old Navy. So if you go on Old Navy, you have a lot of Christmas options and the games, I'll link the games as well if I can find the games. Um, but these games came from uh, Kohl's and Target. So, all right, guys, that's it for today. So glad you're here. So excited that you joined me today. And if you can't tell, I absolutely love Christmas. 
So, so much more to come. Please watch out for all of my stocking videos. I am going to be sharing what's in my eight-year-old son's stocking and stocking stuffer ideas for teens and young adults and also what's in my sweetie's stocking, my husband. So I'm gonna show you what I'm putting in his stocking and hopefully you'll get a little bit of inspiration from that. So thank you again for being here. Go ahead and click that like button, subscribe and click the notification bell. And I will see you guys very soon. Good morning, friends. Welcome back to another video. So glad you're with me today. We are going to try to get it all done today. Today is Wednesday, December 21st, and Christmas is Sunday. Can y'all believe that Christmas is Sunday? I'm freaking out. I'm so excited, but yeah, it's a lot to be done. And so this year, I really wanted to have everything done I didn't want to be scrambling on Christmas Eve because we have a busy day and the day before that we're we're going to be doing family things and today is our first day on break from work and school and I kind of want to get my house in order. I want to wrap a few more gifts. I also have to go to the grocery store. I have to do some laundry and I want to just kind of not do deep, some deep cleaning, but, you know, a little bit more than straightening up and uh, washing dishes. I kind of want to dust and make sure everything is nice and fresh and clean um, for the holidays. So we'll see how much I get done today, but I just thought I would take you along with me um, for some of the activities. So let's go. Honey, I have to start the day by making sure Eric the Elf moves to his new home. Uh, my daughters usually do it, but today they did not. So we want to make sure Eric is in a nice new home before Dylan wakes up. How are you this morning? Good. First day of Christmas break. Are you excited? All right, you want to open your advent? It's okay. also the first day of winter. Oh, today's the first day of winter. That's right. I always forget to open my advent. Uh, I think we got caught up yesterday. Um, 21. Found it. Ooh, what'd you get? Ooh, blue quartz. Let me see. Let's hold it up. So cool. What does it say about the blue quartz? Blue quartz. Quartz is the second most abundant mineral in the Earth's continental crust, and it is found in many variety varieties and colors. Cool. I don't know if it's gonna fit in the bag. It's small. Look, it fit. <laughs> What's that big one that's sticking out? I forgot. What's that one? Uh, oh, it's white urchin. That's the white urchin. I feel like I got two white urchins. I think they gave you a repeat of a couple of them. But yeah. All right. Only a few more to go. Want some breakfast? Yes, ma'am. Okay.
so another thing on the list today was to cover up the patio furniture for winter I keep looking out here and seeing it and saying I'm going to do it and I haven't done it so I'm going to do it today we are supposed to have a deep freeze this weekend for Christmas okay guys so I am at Walmart getting ready to get some groceries I was cleaning really trying to find my groove with cleaning and my husband called and he was like have you been to the grocery store yet and I was like no I'm going in a little bit he was like you need to go now you know about you know the holiday rush and all of that and he's right because I hate being in the grocery store and Walmart when it is crowded and now it is like 9 41 and I'm going in to get all the stuff I need through the weekend so Fingers crossed I don't get highly aggravated, but I'm braving the masses. guys this sausage is so expensive but it tastes so good um, we only eat it on special occasions and since this is Christmas I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some but it costs $11 for this package of sausage but it's so good did anybody else eat these growing up these Christmas popcorn tins we used to get one of these every Christmas when I was a little girl and I've kind of kept that tradition with my family so I am going to go ahead and pick up one for us Okay, I am back from Walmart. I had to go to Kroger as well because they didn't have a few items I needed at Walmart. But here's our little grocery haul that's going to get us through the rest of this week and through Christmas week, I hope. So I'm just going to show you right quick what I picked up. Some things I picked up for some recipes for Christmas and some things we're going to be making. Um, our produce, I've just picked So I am back outside on the deck to finish covering the furniture. I was getting started with that, but then I had to stop and go to the grocery store. So I'm back out here to get this all covered up. We have not sat out here in quite a while. So it has gotten, the furniture's gotten kind of dusty and dirty, but I am not gonna worry about cleaning it off until springtime. Um, we'll do a deck refresh then, but I am going to take all of my blankets, take them in and wash them and put my pillows away. Um, the table cover for my dining set is ruined. It just got wet and moldy. It's not made out of the same kind of material. So I didn't even try to fool with it because some bugs came out of it and it was just gross. So I'm going to just pull the whole dining table, which you will see in a minute, up under 
our um, pergola or deck cover whatever you want to call this thing um, along with the dining chairs and also the cover for my coffee table doesn't fit this came in a set so I'm going to have to get another cover for my coffee table as well as for the dining table we are supposed to have a deep freeze tonight which is not typical well this weekend for Christmas so I want to make sure all of this stuff is covered up so it doesn't get ruined if I could play Uno with him so I kept telling him to wait and so I finally just took a break and played with him because after all that's what holiday break is all about making memories and spending time with family and he is so serious about Uno um, but we had a good time and so when it was over I was back to work they said, say, Nick, but you got a bit in that bag, yeah. I got a racks, racks in my sack, or in my back, yeah. They said, say, Nick, but you got a bit in that bag, yeah. I got a racks, racks in my sack, or in my back, yeah. I'm frozen, neck is frozen. Catch me rolling, I'm the chosen. Snow is falling, Elfie's calling. Check my list twice, mostly y'all done. Sleigh bells ringing. Dancer, Prancer, and Vixen Comet, Cupid, Donner, and Blitzen No, I can't forget about the one with the red nose When I fly high, my sleigh still stay ten toes Bring the beat, bring the trees, bring the cheese Put the lights up, tis the season Need no Grinch tights, no Ebenezer Don't believe this, y'all need Jesus Sleigh bells ringing In that bag, yeah. I got a racks, racks in my sack, or in my back, yeah. They said, Say, Nick, what you got up in that bag, yeah. I got a racks, racks in my sack, or in my back, yeah. They said, Say, Nick, what you got up in that bag, yeah. I got a racks, racks in my sack, or in my back, yeah. They said, Say, Nick, what you got up in that bag. I got a racks, racks in my sack, or in my back. Merry Christmas, everybody. Okay, guys, before I tidy the kitchen, okay, I wanted to show you guys my holiday nails. Let me see. The light is not great there. Is it right? Okay. I never <laughs> do this to my nails, but the holiday bug has bit me, so I got red nails with the little green <laughs> glitter nails. So, anyway, just wanted to show those. I thought they were cute, but... I want to show you guys this uh, awesome cookie kit that my sweet co-worker, Laren. Laren, if you're watching my video, honey, shout out to you. She makes the most beautiful and delicious cookies. And she told me that she had a treat for me and my family. And she gave me this cookie kit. And I wanted to share it with you. Um... She has baked us all of these beautiful sugar cookies. 
Um, we have some Christmas trees. This looks like a mitten. Oh my gosh, these are Santa, I can tell. We have Santa cookies. We have some snowflakes. And what is this one? Y'all, and this one is a snowman. So she gave us all of the icing and pipe bags and all of the sprinkles to decorate our cookies. Look at that, she heat sealed everything and here are these sprinkles and y'all we usually bake cookies on christmas eve and they don't look anything like this but it's so fun but we are going to use these cookies on christmas eve for santa so we don't have to bake them and these are going to be so delicious she told me they were heat sealed and how to do it she also gave us these instructions to leave it right Y'all, this was the sweetest thing and we are, and her cookies are absolutely delicious. So they wanted to break into them yesterday and I said, don't you dare. Um, so I called her and asked her if I needed to put the cookies in the refrigerator. She said, absolutely not. They have been heat sealed and they're good for a week. Um, so we're, gonna do this on Christmas Eve when we come home from church and I'm so excited about that. It's cold outside but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe and I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out of nowhere, just us and no one else. I've decorated everything to be perfect for this week. Tomorrow. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out of nowhere, just us and no one else. I've decorated everything to be perfect for this week. Tomorrow. Okay, so I have cleaned up and I've run errands <laughs> and this area does not really look like it's been cleaned up, but um, I have stacked here some last minute gifts and gifts for our extended family. And so I'm going to kind of do a little 
last minute haul for you and show you some things I have. And then when the kiddos go to bed, I'll wrap a few more things. All right, guys, so it's late. Everybody's gone to bed, but I still wanted to open up these packages and start wrapping. So I'm going to um, just open it, let you see what I got some last minute gifts and then I'll show you a few other ones. And I'm not even sure what this is. <laughs> Look how they have this thing taped up. That is crazy. I don't even know what this is. I do know what this is. So this is an order I've been waiting on from Walmart for about two weeks. Um, my package has been delayed. It kept getting delayed and it was just something fun that I wanted. For Dylan. Sorry about all the crackling, but it is a Naruto lunchbox. No, it's not even anything special. And I've been waiting on this thing for weeks. But this is just a, a Naruto lunchbox. Naruto, if you watch his gift haul, this is an anime that he likes. So. I've been waiting for this lunch box, so it finally got here. Yay! Let me double check my name. Y'all, I have to double check names because I assume all packages are mine. And I have opened several packages that were my husband's before. It makes him so mad when I open up his packages. He says, I assume everything that comes here is for me. That's because I order so much. Um, this is cool. These came from Amazon. Um, these are, and I like the little zip, little pool bag that it came, not zip. But these are, I saw in somebody else's gift haul for stocking stuffers these exfoliating foot masks so um you put the mask on your foot and it peels the dead skin so i ordered these was a pack of five so i'm gonna put one in everybody's stocking just to try out even my husband's so yeah these will be fun and I think I know what these are for targets. Show them to you. Oh, this isn't what I thought it was. Okay, so this is a toy for Dylan. Um, this is like a last minute. I got a couple of last minute toys for him. Um, this is Pet Simulator X. He loves Roblox. He plays Roblox all day with his cousins <laughs> um, online. Well, I, I don't, I guess it's online, but he plays with his cousins who live here um, in the city. And his, he has some other cousins who live in Atlanta and they play Roblox together as well. And we were in Five Below the other day and he saw a little blind bag for Pet Simulator X and asked his dad for it. He said he really, really wanted it. Now, if you remember, this child didn't give me anything that he wanted for Christmas. So I kind of had to go off what I knew. So um, we went back to Five Below to pick up those blind bags. And then I searched up Pet Simulator X toys, which there are not a lot. Um, but I did find these at Target. They're like little blind eggs or I think they're spaceships. Yeah, they're little spaceships and they have um, a little uh, pet collect collectors 
item inside. So there are different pets you can collect. So you'll have two blind bags from Five Below plus um, these little things here. So he'll be happy about that. This is what I needed to do. slippers aren't these the cutest so this was a last minute um buy because target put these little slippers on sale i love slippers i'm a sucker for fuzzy slippers and they had these in a lot of colors so i picked up um a pair for both my girls my sister-in-law <laughs> I pulled her name, so I thought this would be a cute little gift to go in a little care basket for her to go with her gift. And I got some for myself. I got some for my goddaughter and my best friend. Um, and I'm still waiting on the pink. I got a pair of uh, all that was left in the sizes we needed. I got a pair of pink. They're light pink and hot pink. And these are the turquoise ones i know um my daughter gabby loves turquoise so one of these is hers and i can't remember who was getting the other pair of turquoise but these were were great and i'm still waiting on the pink ones they should be here tomorrow okay i'm gonna show you our little santa bags these are the mini ones that sometimes i use for their stocking overflow and I picked these up at Michael's a couple of years ago for like a couple of dollars. They were like $2 maybe or $3 and we reused them. I have a third one that I don't know where it is. So I got to try to find that one tomorrow. And then these are our big ones. That's Dylan's. And then there's another one. And I have another one like this too, y'all. I have stuff everywhere. I can't, since we moved, I haven't been able to find everything. But I do have a third one here. So these are the bigger ones. And um, I usually like to stuff their Santa bags with some random gifts that I didn't wrap that are small enough. They, are, they, are, they, don't, they don't have to be small, but, you know, just different things. And so I wanted to have those ready because I'll be getting ready to stuff those. These are also great if you have things that are harder to wrap or are kind of awkward to wrap. Um, and it's so fun on Christmas morning for them to come down and see the sack full of things. Guys, I'm just going to wrap a few items to end the day. And I was able to get almost everything done or started. I did not finish the laundry, but I got so much done today, which is going to give me so much peace of mind as we go into this holiday weekend my husband is off work this whole weekend and we have so many things planned and i just want to be able to relax and enjoy that time with my family and not be trying to run around and buy groceries and clean up and wrap 8,000 presents um and so i was able to get a lot of that done today and i feel very accomplished i'm tired but I feel very accomplished and I will be well rested and ready to enjoy my sweet babies and my sweet husband this holiday season. We have so much fun together and it comes and goes so fast. So I hope that today's video has given you some ideas, inspired you to go ahead and get up and get everything ready for your holiday weekend as well. And I thank you guys so much for joining me. If this is your first time, welcome and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, all of that good stuff. 
I have a few more things to share with you this season and we will be ready to jump into next year. So if you have not already, go ahead and click that like button, subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. So you guys be blessed, be good and be kind to somebody else and I will see you guys very soon. Merry Christmas. Hey friends and welcome back to another video. So glad you're here with me. Join me today as I share with you how we celebrated our Christmas weekend, the day before Christmas Eve and Christmas Eve day. We had such a wonderful time with family and friends and worshiping and so I just want to share a little bit of it with you today so as you watch enjoy and I hope you guys had an awesome Christmas holiday breakfast at my baby sister's house and it was so much fun I will try to put in a little bit of footage of that um, if possible but we're on our way back home and we're going to just rest a little bit and make some gingerbread houses and then we're going to go see some holiday lights tonight so I'll try to share a little bit of that with you Mom and Daddy and Sister Wolf might not know this. What was Mary J. Blige searching for? Oh, man. Real love. <laughs> I'm searching for You're right. Mom and Dad and All right, number three. What did Michael Jackson do after he saw his mommy kissing Santa Claus? I'm going to tell you. Stacy got it. You can't answer it. You got it. I sunk it at the end. I'm going to tell you. Right. All right. <laughs> number four. What did Eartha want Santa to slip under the tree? A sable. Slip a sable under the tree. For me. Debbie got it first. Debbie got it first. What did Mariah Carey want for Christmas? Uh, all I want for Christmas is you. How far is that? I think that was Cameron. Daddy, you saw the room too. But he didn't have the right words. I think he got that one. Okay, Debbie got it. It was good. Uh -uh. One, one, one. What did Mr. Grinch have in his soul? This is another one. What did TLC not want?
Hey friends, so it is um, 5.57 on the 23rd. It's been chilling out. We are getting ready to make some homemade pizzas. That's one of our traditions. So I will show you everything we use for our little pizzas. And I think we're gonna make gingerbread houses tonight. And I'll show you the ones that we picked out. So the kids are in there watching TV, so that's the noise you hear. And it's okay, because that's what we're doing. Um, but we didn't do traditional gingerbread houses this time. I picked these up from Five Below. We have a gingerbread um, train that looks really cool, really fun. So we're going to do that one. And then we have the gingerbread reindeer and sleigh. Look how cute that looks. So what we usually do is break up into two teams and see who comes out the best. So it's a lot of fun. So we'll do that later on tonight. And then we will um, probably play this game. Everybody knows I've been wanting to play this one. Of course, Dylan wants to play Uno. So we'll do that, but I really want to play this game, Rapid Fire Questions. Everybody knows what is the Breakfast of Champions, who painted the Mona Lisa, where is the Cerebrum, and the back looks like this. So I'm um, not quite sure how you play it, but it looks like something that we're going to love. We are very competitive, and we love to play games. So that's the lineup for tonight. So I'll show you in just a minute what we're going to have on our pieces. Look at the flowers my husband brought me home. They are red and green. I love them. I um, used to be a person who really, I mean, didn't really like receiving flowers, didn't see the purpose, but now I love receiving flowers. I love looking at them. I love walking in to see them, and these are so pretty. I do not know what kind of flower this is. <laughs> So if you know, you kind of, you tell me in the comments, but they are so pretty, um, red and green, just in time for Christmas. All right. I'm going to show you right quick, everything that we are going to use for our pizzas. Um, it's a little noisy. I have the dishwasher running, the oven fan is going and they're watching TV. So just try not to pay attention to that. Um, but here's everything that we're going to put on our homemade pizzas. I have some um, red bell peppers and onions, and I don't really like putting them raw on the pizza because I like them a little bit more done. So I just kind of blanch them right quick, like with a little olive oil and salt and pepper just for a second. And we love to put that on our pizza. I have some mushrooms, which I don't like, but um, one of my daughters and my husband likes mushrooms. We have pepperoni, we have some Italian sausage, we have some black olives, and we have some bacon crumbles that I cooked in the oven, cooked them kind of crispy because that's how we like it. I also just have some pizza sauce, and I always just get the generic because we kind of um, uh, sprinkle a little of this garlic parmesan on there after we put the sauce and some Italian seasoning. We also brush our crust, which are right here. Um, I always get these little, um, uh, like a personal pan crust from either Kroger or Walmart. So today I got the Kroger brand because that's all they had left, guys. So you get three of these in a pack for like $2.99. So my husband typically likes to eat about two of these and then my daughters will make one tomorrow <laughs> um, for lunch. So I picked up three packages of those. They were $2.99 for three. Um, we have some Italian style blend. We usually get the pizza blend, but when I sent my husband back for the cheese, I said Italian instead of pizza blend, but it's the same cheeses in the pizza blend and the Italian blend. And then some Parmesan cheese to put over our pizza when they're done. And then the olive oil, like I said, we typically brush olive oil on our crust and sprinkle a little garlic powder on there. So yeah, it's fun. So we're gonna get ready to make our pizzas and enjoy.
Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. They said, say, Nick, but you got a bit in that bag, yeah. I got racks, racks in my sack, or in my bag, yeah. They said, say, Nick, what you got a bit in that bag, yeah. Racks, racks in my sack, or in my bag. Yeah. Snowball frozen, neck is frozen. Catch me rolling, I'm the chosen. Snow is falling, Elfie's calling. Check my list twice, most of y'all done. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing. Favorite season, sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, and Vixen Comet, Cupid, Donner, and Blitzen No, I can't forget about the one with the red nose When I fly high, my sleigh still stay ten toes Bring the beat, bring the trees, bring the cheese Put the lights up, tis the season Me no Grinch types, no Ebenezer Don't believe Okay, so I'm gonna show you real quick our Christmas PJs this year. Um, I purchased us these Santa um, PJ bottoms from Old Navy really early in the season when they were on sale. So they have little black Santa on them and they're navy blue. So I thought these were fun. Um, so we all got them. Um, all five of us have these bottoms. And then I made these shirts for us with um, my Cricut um, machine. I purchased the um, Old Navy had their long sleeve tees some weeks ago on sale for $4 a piece. And men's, ladies, and kids. So I got all of us a long sleeved white t-shirt. Y'all, and I'm rethinking the white now because we have to go to wear PJs to my mom's house for Christmas Eve night. So I just know Dylan's is going to be dingy and all of that before the end of the night. So I might take him a shirt to change in. But anyway, I gave um, myself and my daughters got red lettering with the green Christmas tree. And then my son and my husband got the blue lettering with the green Christmas tree. Y'all, that was partly because I was out of blue vinyl so i wanted everybody to have blue letters but i was out of blue vinyl so we have red and they have blue and then tomorrow for christmas eve service um we're all going to wear these um red plaid shirts from old navy with black bottoms if every family has to do a little performance um so I purchased, and again, shirts for the family. They had these in ladies cut, men cut, and kids cut. So everybody got this shirt, and we're going to wear black pants and this. So it'll be so fun. So I'll try to show you a little bit of Christmas Eve tomorrow. Merry Christmas! It is Christmas Eve! Can you believe it? Christmas is in just a few hours. Santa is getting ready. There's Gabby. Guys, I don't think you've ever met my beautiful daughter. She's 20. This is Gabby, but you've heard me mention her a lot. Tell them, hey. Hello. 
Isn't she beautiful? That's my baby, y'all. That's my putter. I call her putter. But anyways, um, it's almost Christmas. We went to church this morning. Our family performed together this morning. All of the families, well, most of the families did like a little Christmas performance if they wanted to. So we did um what was our song um do you hear what i hear do you hear what i hear and it was so super cute um and so we're getting ready to go to my mom's house in a little while we're going to put on our christmas pjs but first we're going to make cookies and i shared it with you in my getting it all done video um the cookie box that one of my co-workers made but i'm going to share it again with you and i'm going to show you our elf eric because he's getting ready to go home so here is Eric the Elf. Look at the mess he made, y'all. He got in the sprinkles. When Guardian Leviosa, guess who I am? So I think he's mimicking, and I'm not going to touch him, but he's mimicking a spell from Harry Potter. There's Slytherin House. OMG, Eric, you are doing absolutely too much. And he says, one day left merry christmas eve and he even put a little one in sprinkles isn't that this the cutest but he better clean this mess up before he leaves for the north pole because mama doesn't feel like cleaning this up but anyway we're getting ready to make cookies so let me show you that okay so i'm gonna show you one more time gabby's put some utensils over here for us to use um but this is a cookie box made by my friend laren um it's it came with instructions um, for uh, for to tell us how to make the cookies and um, how to store them. And this is the cutest. So we have Christmas trees. Um, we have mittens. We have Santa. Some snowflakes. All kinds of sprinkles to decorate the cookies. And then we have some snowmen back here, but we have red icing, white icing, light blue icing, and green. So we're getting ready to make our cookies. So fun. <laughs> Gabby? Um, I am grateful for my family, like Rilla said, and how close y'all are, because not everybody has that. And we just have so much fun when we're together. Whenever we're together, I laugh so hard till my head starts to hurt, my stomach starts to hurt. And I really enjoy that. Um, I also thank God that I had um, a really good semester of school this year. I don't really talk about it because school is okay, but I did have like I struggled really, really hard before I changed my major because I'm not a math and science person and I was like crying every time I had to take, every time I had to study, I was like so genuinely upset about it. But um, this semester, um, I've had the best grades I've ever had since I started college. I made the Dean's List, all A's, um, and B's. I had like 
like two Bs, but everything else is an A. I made the Dean's List for the first time, five semesters of college. I've never, ever done that. So I'm really excited about that and that I'm finally like, I've been loving school, but um, now I like feel a lot better about it because I finally found something that I want to do. So, yeah. Oh, let me see, I'm, I'm faithful. I mean, I'm faithful for my family. I'm, I'm making all like my family and friends. I'm thankful for uh, the you know, job to go to. Because a lot of people uh, are out of work and, and, and can't work. I'm thankful for being in my home this night before Christmas. By Hans Christian Ellis. Is that what it that says? That is not who wrote this book. Cross the night before I mean, watch. <laughs> Hans Christian oh Anderson. <laughs> Hans Christian Anderson did not, and the author is written on the front of the book. The future was stirring. Why are you like the this? Box. The stock is full. Christmas morning, family, friends. I hope that you are waking up to some love and some magic this morning. It is still very early. The kids are about to get up because they set an alarm. Um, so I'm ready for them when they come. So Merry Christmas. And I am just going to share a little bit of our Christmas morning, not a lot. I'm just gonna let you see a little bit of how we celebrate um, for Christmas. So Merry Christmas and I hope you enjoy. Merry Christmas. Hello. How are y'all this morning? I'm good, excited. Y'all excited? It's a little chilly. Okay, well once we go turn the fireplace on when we come down, all right. Y'all can come on down, but you know you gotta stop so I can take a picture on the stairs, so. We just have to give you the praise and the glory, Lord God, for allowing us to wake up this morning, God. Uh, even though it is Christmas, Lord, but if it was just any other day, we just thank you for allowing us to have this breath, Lord God, to wake up and see another day. So we give you the thank and the praise, Lord God. Right now, God. <gasps> Microscope? It's a telescope. Yeah. So you can see the moon and the stars up close. Oh, Help him open his sack. That's about me, the present Jackson told back and one. It's not tied, it's just cinched. Pull it. Wow, what did you get, Layla? I think these, oh, these are some brown, um, brown tights. Oh, it's your chocolate, your chocolate brown. Oh, and they insulated. Yep. Oh, they are insulated. Yep. I got a Georgia box. 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 Box.
Do you like the goo jitsu? I got a Hamilton top. This is cute. Woo! So I got y'all that because y'all don't have any travel things. And that's just a little travel bag for your toiletries. You got, you needed some new socks. Let me see. James Madison. Do you like those? I got some socks. I always need socks. Dylan, I can't see your back is to me. Can you turn and face me? That way, the other way. Go go on the other side of your Santa set. I got some blue slippers. Right there. Okay. I know, aren't those cute? I thought those were really cute. Uh huh, so you can't not be taking mine. Erase your face. I got another travel bag. Also, um, but well then the other stuff. one might not be yours. Um, it's okay. Let me see what you got. Some Stranger Things socks. Dylan, what is that? Do, did you like that? I got That's, penny. What do you do with it? Um, I create my own comic book. Santa got me a cat mug. Cause I like cats. I thought that you would yeah. really like that. Uh-uh. Pokemon mug. I got you like Pokemon that? Bag. Now that is a turn it around. Is the picture on there? Yeah. You see what that is a duffel. Like a little travel duffel bag. Let me see. Those are tights. Okay. What is that? So those are things you can do like at home. Okay. I, I just pulled out my bag too, Layla. Some pajama shorts. I think the author who wrote Percy Jackson. Yeah. So you have to read it and let me know I how you like it. So Layla, that's like a little travel duffel bag. Oh. It's just folded up. You see the picture? Yeah. I thought that was so cool that you would like that. You want, let me see what you got, man. More socks, yay. He asked for some new socks. Wow. Look, what is that? An Avatar coffee mug. I got some loofahs. I knew Layla liked loofahs, so I thought you might like them some too. Isn't that cool? We have to blow it up. I thought that game would be cool. What is it? It's called Hit List. One, two, six answers, 30 seconds. He is holding the, the Reynolds account. What? Let me see. Oh, no. Oh, Send James, Ma Gabby, uh, Layla got Alexander wow. Hamilton. And that was the final thing in there. Cool, so go ahead and put all of y'all, put all of that back in there. I've been, I've been eager to do that this entire time. So which one is yours? The Let me see, show it to me. Star cookie, penguin candy cane, uh, snowflake plate, spring Okay. No. Which one is yours? Yes, yeah, so you didn't. You thought yours was the penguin paper, and it's not. I knew mine was the gray Christmas. Tree. So which one is his? Um, he has the snowflakes. He has Black. the white snowflakes. Black. Okay, so start passing out the gifts. Every Christmas, baby. Reindeers coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents. Making sure you've been behaving okay Merry Christmas, honey yeah. The snowman's dusting off his hat Putting on the show for everybody To give them a smile that lasts another year
Those are sterling. Real silver. Open the box that way, Dylan. And you like those? Yeah. <laughs> Big sister. What are those, man? Pajama pants. Hufflepuff. That's just a t-shirt. It's not a pajama shirt. Did you like those? You asked for some drawer organization. Gabby. I also got my very own including the Slytherin one. I thought that Slytherin mug was Layla's. Oh. <laughs> so you can use those in your drawer. What you got? What is that? What is this? You like it? <laughs> what is that, man? is coming Start sending your letters off to Santa Christmas is coming yeah. Better be nice if you want your present
what is a koski? A koski is an organ is an organization from Naruto. They're rogue ninja, and they try to destroy. And who gave you that? Layla. Did you see what else? These? Oh yeah, this too. What is that? Avatar chopsticks. Oh, cool. Chopsticks for ramen. What are those? What are those?
bought it. You can. Can. Scoot up over by Gabby because I can't see you. Scoot closer. Oh my gosh! I got an iPad! Mama, can I open this <laughs> skin? Okay. Look you guys. Woo! 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 Oh, mine is boxed. It must be blue. Wow! Dylan open his. <laughs> Dylan, it opens in the front, man. Where where I've torn it. Get right there, Gabby. Woo! You like it, man? Woo! Woo! Hey guys, we have open presents and my parents are here. And that's all the trash from the wrapping paper. But we're getting ready to eat breakfast and I'm just gonna show you what I cooked for breakfast. And we're gonna just enjoy the day. We had a beautiful morning. Um, and so I'm gonna show you what I cooked for breakfast and then we're just gonna hang out until it's time for us to get together with the family. All right, so right here, we're just gonna have some orange juice. I used some of it for the Christmas punch, but this is not Christmas punch. It has cranberry juice, orange juice, and ginger ale. It's so good. Um, and then these are our little Christmas plates. I made just a little fruit salad, some cheese eggs, um, my breakfast casserole, and I will link the recipe to this casserole um, in the comments if you want. And we're gonna have some sausage, that expensive sausage I told y'all about, and some bacon, and then I made some French toast. So we're getting ready to grub down. Every Christmas honey. Yeah. The snowman's dusting off his hat. Putting on the show for everybody. To give them a smile that lasts another year. So we've had a very beautiful day. Um, and I'm tired, so I'm gonna lay down, but. The kids are all hanging out in our room. Um, and I'm gonna show you the remnants, the aftermath of Christmas. We've gotten most of it up, but I'll tackle that tomorrow. So the kids have gotten most of their things. These are some of the goodies that my husband bought me that are still down here. And just remnants of the kids enjoying their gifts. We had a lovely evening and afternoon with our family. Um, and so now we're tired. We're just gonna hang and chill out and that's what the day is all about. Um, so I will catch up with you guys very soon. And Merry Christmas.